For the last 10 years, every new car sold in the United States has been required to have ABS brakes. ABS stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. Yeah, in theory, that should make driving safer, but really only if drivers use them in the right way. Tony has much more in this Behind the Wheel. Well, the good news is the right way to use ABS brakes could not be easier, and it's the same no matter what's happening around you. Just put your foot on the brake and keep it there until you come to a complete stop. In normal conditions, you're doing that already, but it's during an emergency stop that your ABS brake system really comes to life, and here's why. It's designed to not lock up the brakes like on older vehicles that didn't have it. So here's how ABS brakes work. Imagine this spinning fan blade is the wheel on your car, and my finger is the brake pedal. Without ABS, slamming on the brakes makes the wheel just stop rolling. It locks up, and your car just skids across the pavement. But ABS brakes sense the motion of the wheel, then apply and release brake pressure faster than humanly possible, up to 15 times a second, so you can slow down without skidding. Well, that allows you to be able to steer at the same time because it's not locking up, so you can still physically steer and maneuver that way. But just so you know, if you've never applied ABS brakes in an emergency situation, the first time you do it, it can sound and feel kind of weird. Anyone that's hit, hit the brakes for a panic stop and had ABS go on the first time, they're gonna be like, what is going on? you get that, you know, that rrr, 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 rrr noise as the pump is working. And sometimes you also get feedback through the brake pedal. You can feel the pedal pulsating, which is completely normal. Those sensations just mean the system is working, so keep your foot on the brake with steady, firm pressure. Remember, you don't have to pump the brakes. In fact, if you do, you're kind of defeating the whole purpose. The system does that for you in fractions of a second, and that leaves you free to steer the car. Look to where you want to go, not to where you're going. Right, because that could be a treat. Yes. Tony Martinez, Fox 12, Oregon. So, two things real quick. Don't put your finger in a fan blade. No. <laughs> Get that covered. And then the other is that, you know, if you have ABS brakes, you have them. Yeah. It isn't like traction control. Like in my car, I can switch that on or right. off. It's a different system. It sometimes can work in conjunction with your ABS brakes. But if you have them, there's no switch where you have to turn it on. You just, if you have them, okay. you got them. A teaching moment for us and your family, I yeah. think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I asked them, how am I going to illustrate this? And the first, they didn't know what ABS brakes, how they worked. Well. We cleared that up. Then my son goes, oh, you can use the fan. And then, OK. It's brilliant. He knows so, how yeah. fans Great work. Idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chip off the old block. There yeah. you go. I don't know how it works, it just works. That's yeah. right. It's like the microwave. I don't know what does it, it just, it <laughs> it just fine. Yeah. Just use it right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, let's go to the